In this step of the series, we will learn how to develop the outline and clarify the invention by outlining your invention. The outline is a place where you can organize your thoughts before you start to write the application. Remember, this is just an outline. Don't use paragraphs or sentences. Just write short notes. In my experience, what's helped me think through a client's invention is to think about the benefits of the invention first. For example, does the invention make something faster, cheaper, easier to adjust. After all, the benefits are what you are trying to get protected. You don't want your competitors to incorporate the same benefits into their product. Download a blank outline with the link I put in the description below and fill out the benefits section. After identifying the benefits, I think about how those benefits are achieved. What parts are needed to achieve those benefits? Take some time now to list the parts of your invention in your outline. After you've listed the benefits and the parts, you need to think about the invention in terms of design constraints. For example, let's think about one of the design constraints of the Manfrotto tripod which we'll be using throughout this series to help you learn how to write a patent application. With a tripod, the length and thickness of the legs can only be so long and so thin. Otherwise, the tripod will begin to wobble and the camera won't be still enough to take a shot. This is a very simple example of a design constraint for a tripod. I put a link in the description below to my outline for the Manfrotto tripod where you can see more examples of design constraints. There's also a link to a description of how the Manfrotto tripod actually works. You'll need this to get the most out of this series. Now that you've listed the benefits, the parts that achieve those benefits, and the design constraints, it's time to list the options, the variations, and the alternative embodiments. These things help you to amend your claims so that you can claim different aspects of your invention during examination if needed. Options. Options refer to non-preferred aspects of your invention. If you have a preferred material but other materials could work, list those non-preferred materials. Variations refer to ranges. If the tripod has a preferred length for its legs, put ranges of length for the leg. Alternative embodiments refer to different ways of accomplishing the same thing. For example, if the tripod has a mechanism for screwing on the camera, you could include other ways to attach the camera such as magnets. Now take some time to list the options, the variations, and the alternative embodiments in your outline for your invention. Next, you need to include the MVP. The MVP stands for the Minimally Viable Product. Business people, when thinking about the MVP, think minimally commercially viable product. However, for patent purposes, we're thinking about the minimalist version of the invention that achieves the benefit, regardless of the commercial viability. Now take some time to list the MVPs of your invention in your outline. Now you can list the optimized version of your invention. The optimized version is the preferred embodiment of your invention. Your outline should now be filled out. Click on the next video to learn more about how to prepare the drawings.